Well, I think this man felt the need to reach people with the message of what psychoanalysis could do. Willicott said that learning to be sad, learning to grieve, was one of the greatest gifts of, of, for human beings. It was not what a lot of people fear, which is, I don't want to be depressed, I don't want to be depressed. It's, it's painful, of course. But through depression comes the capacity to be deeply sad and to realise life will not give you everything, how can it? Everything you want, everything you hope for. But you don't have to throw out a great deal of, of what's been of value to you. When you see Willicott working with a small child and just making a, you know, as described in his work, just making a connection that you were sad when your little brother died, or whatever it would be. And the child turns around in its development because it just, it didn't know that that was the matter. But once it is, that that could be the matter, that that's a perfectly normal thing to feel, it's up and running again. But for Winnicott, he was picking up the emotional tenderness, sadness, cruelty and loss uh, that was being brought into the clinic. And he was trying to think as a young doctor, how do you help people with that? I think I want to help people with that. I think I've always thought he's a kind of helper, he's a support, he's an ally. He finds ways through something uh, and believes in the, the self as something that will survive, that will work things out. A great mind, I mean I'm thinking about our greatest artists, are not pessimistic in the, in the long term. They might present pessimistic aspects of us. But the hope that is invested in their writing, and I think that was there in Willicott, uh, makes us all feel, you know, there's a point, there's a point to doing this and learning about this and gaining from this.